The Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris. Bro Rabbit and the Tar Baby. In Levantine hundred and full of fleas, when they raised such a crop of goober peas, the creatures was all des as chummy as you please. They raced and they wrestled, they jumped and they played, and there wasn't nothing tall for to make em fraid. They had the parties, both dar and here, with May pop puddin' and simmon beer. And the way they keep the force of Julys was in eatin' goobers and fresh tater pies. And there wasn't no doubt, and no perhaps, that they helped one another out with the craps. And they had the frolics in the fall, when they scorted Miss Meadows to the ball, with sachet ladies and balance all, they had mighty little for to set em back, good health and good craps, but what they lack was good clean water when the branch run dry, cause the river was muddy when low or high. They mought a got a well by selling corn, but the man what dug them ain't been born. So they rocked along from day to day, and hold the corn and saved the hay. When the sun held its own up in the sky, and a long drought come and the branch run dry, Mr. Fox and Mr. Wolf looked like they'd die, and all the creatures was in the same fix, cept old Brer Rabbit with his irritating tricks. He went his way and he had his fun, if the branch was dry or if it run. He loped along with his lippity clips, a wiggling his nose and a working his lips. And his morning drink was all as new. It was sweet gum sap and honey dew. The kind what you find in the heart of a flower, or the poplar leaf, if you'll wait for the hour, and watch for the moonshine's sweetening shower. But the other creatures ain't cotched the knack. They was dull as walking to mill and back. They never took notice how the birds can sing, how the black bees zooms when he's on the wing, how the stars swing round, how the flowers smell, and they dodge from thunder with well, well, well. They wished mighty strong that the cants was coulds, twill the day Mr. Fox got back from the woods. He come back, he did, and says he, by jing, you can believe me or not, but I done found the spring and I feel like cutting the pigeon wing, and it runs so clean and it runs so clear that it do like it's whispering in your ear. With its goo goo goody and its goo goo good, it's way over yonder in the chicka-pink wood, and the creatures all, they was happy, mon. They trot and they gallop and then they run. With a tippy-tip and a long-time swing to where they can see the googling spring. Well, the spring was dar at the head of the dream, where the Columbus shook its flags a-green, and the cattails tried for to make a screen. The creatures all laugh, and then they squeal, and they hopped all round on toe and heel. Bro Rabbit, he asked, what's the hullabaloo? And they answer back, it's a spring for true. Then old Bro Rabbit took another char, er his tobacker, and he work his jaw, and sniff the air and shed his eyes, and fling back his head and look mighty wise. Now the spring had been dar since the flood, but one fine morning twas full of mud, and old Brer Rabbit he chawed his cud, and atter dat twarn't never clear, and there warn't no goo for the creatures to hear. Twas mud in the morning and mud at night. Tain't no use of talkin' that mud was a sight. Mr. Fox, as the finder, watched over the spring, and he tried to discover what kinder thing was a stirrin' up mud before night and day, and he watched and he wait twill he had his way. And one fine morning he found some tracks, and he shook his head, I'm tellin' you the facts, and he went off and got him some shoemaker's wax, and pitch and rosin and din and dour, he mold him a baby out of the tar, with leg and body and head and hand, and it looked like it's settin' dar playin' in the sand. And he hide hisself whar he can see, whomsoever gwine to happen to the tar baby, de tar baby o, oh, de tar baby o, oh. and then he hide and lay mighty low. 
Brer Rabbit, he skipped long at last, he skipped sort of slow, then he skipped kind of fast, cause he used the spring as a looking glass, and he see the tar baby sitting dar. Good morning, sir, and how's your ma? And how does your copiosity seem to sagashuate? says he. And where's your manners? You must be deaf. You hear if I hit you and you lose your breath. Brer Rabbit, he wait. Wit, to be show. Tar baby, say nothing. Mr. Fox, lay low. You better tell me, howdy. You better make your bow. No trouble to show you if you done her how. Uh, maybe you is keen for to get in a row. Good morning. This morning I'll ask you once more. Tar baby, say nothing. Mr. Fox lay low. Brer Rabbit, he stomp his foot on the ground. You a mighty stuck up, but I'll fetch you down. You see this hand? Well, I'll hit you a blip that'll split you open from hat to hip. What ain't you, man, and war did you grow? Tar Baby say nothing. Mr. Fox lay low. Brer Rabbit made a pass at him for the luck, and he hauled off and hit him in the eye, could chuck and tried to jump away, but the hand done stuck. Toy me loose, you villain, or I'll hit you again. I'll give you a joke that'll cave you in. Brer Rabbit drawed back. I'll try you for pluck, and biffed him again, and the other hand stuck. You see this foot? I'll give you a kick that'll land you down yonder close to old Nick. Just turn me loose, and I'll let you go. Tar Baby say nothing. Mr. Fox lay low. Brer Rabbit hit the ground with his foot and say, You'll be sorry you pestered with me this day. So just turn me loose and go on away. Then he up with his foot and kicked him blam. I'll lay I'll show you this who I am. But the foot done stuck. Will you let me go? Tar Baby say nothing. Mr. Fox lay low. Then Brer Rabbit feel like he bout to get vexed, cause he specked every minute would be the next, and he monstrous sorry that it was so. Tar Baby say nothing. Mr. Fox lay low. Well, the other foot stuck, and out of that, Brer Rabbit he grinned like a chessy cat. If you don't turn me loose, I'll butt you flat. I'll scatter your brains. I'll ruin you. Show. Tar Baby say nothing. Mr. Fox lay low. Brer Rabbit, he butted as hard as he could, and his head it stuck, let him do what he would, and the tar baby held him hard and fast, and it looked like his time done come at last. Mr. Fox sauntered out from his hiding place with a blood-red smile running across his face. He scraped his foot, and then he bow, he licked his chops, and then he low, "Hi to do, bro, rabbit, how you feel, no how." With a throbbing heart and a shaking knee, bro, rabbit was scared as scared could be. You were mighty stuck up, Mister Fox, he say, and I'm surprised to see it at this time of day. He walked around. Here's a gooba shell. I can scarcely believe it. Well, well, well. He pulled off his coat and rolled up his sleeves. Now I gwine to show you just what I believes. And he grinned again, the grin that was red, and he opened his mouth for to let it spread, twell he show all the tushes in his head. He grabbed Brer Rabbit by the leg, and you ought to hear that creature beg. Mr. Fox, he say, what I'm going to do is to pay you before for the old and the new. Oh, you needn't to talk. I know you're nice. But you fool me once, and you fool me twice. You steal my goobers, and then you fling a whole pile of mud right in that spring. But I got you now, and yo hide I'll stretch. I'll learn you something, you trifling wretch. I'll give you the old-time buckra tetch. I'll skin you alive, I'll drown you dead. I'll break your neck, I'll crack your head. I'll wallop you till I make you think. I'm the patter roller, you wall eyed slink. Brer Rabbit sniffle, and then he say, I know mighty well you have your way. You may drown me, sir, if it's your desires, but please don't fling me in the briars. 
De tar was so rank dat de bruh rabbit sneeze, but he still was a shakin' in de knees, and he keep on a wimplin', please, sir, please. Oh, yes, I'll please, Mr. Fox, he say, and I'll please myself this very day. You mayn't be mine, but I think you is, and I'm sure going to bake you twill you sizz. I'll kindle the brush heap and fling you in, and I'll lay that old cook and crisp yo skin. Brer Rabbit, he say, Does fetch on your fires, but please don't fling me in the briars. Brer Fox, he study and rub his chin. He rub it once, and he rub it again. And he wonk one eye and grin a grin. I'll hang you high and maybe higher, and I'll fling you in the big quagmire. Do this as you please, Brer Rabbit cry, and I'll ask no reason for which or why. You can drown me deep, you can hang me high, and I'll not tear one drap from my eye. You can hamstring me with red hot wires, but please, oh please, keep me out of the briars. Mr. Fox, he took him at his word, and sunned him sailing like a bird, as if he was feathered instead of furred. Right sprang in the briars, growing dar, as thick every bit as the thickest har. Brer Rabbit, he holler, I ain't got a scratch. I was bred and born in the briar patch. You flung me in and lift the latch. Oh, one fine morning when day was dawning, I was bred and born in the briar patch. End of Brer Rabbit and the Tar Baby Section 2 of The Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Chenever. The Apple Tree. That's a mighty queer tale about the apple tree in the paradise garden where Adam run free, where the butterflies drunk honey with old Mammy B. And talk about good times. I bet you he had em, Adam, old man Adam and the apple tree. He woke one morning with a pullin' at his sleeve. He opened one eye, and dar was Eve. He shook her hand with, Honey, don't you grieve? Talk about good times. I bet you they had em, Adam, Adam and Eve and the apple tree. Then Eve took a bite of the apple fruit, and Adam he bit, and then they scoot. Dar's where the niggers learned the quick callyhoot, and run and hid behind the fig tree. Talk about troubles, I bet you they had em, Adam, Adam and Eve behind the fig tree. They had their frolics, and they had their flings, and then atter dat the fun took wings. Honey, mighty sweet, but bees got stings. Talk about hard times, I bet you they had em, Adam, Adam and Eve behind the fig tree. Cause out of that garden they had fur to skin, fur to look for the crack where Satan crope in. They search far and wide, and they search mighty well. Eve she knowed, but she fused fur to tell. Old Satan's trail was all rubbed out, seppin' a track or two where he walked about. Talk about troubles, well I bet you they had em, Adam, Adam and Eve and all the kin. And when they got back, the gate was shot, and that was to pay what Adam got. In that garden he went no more. The overseer give him a shovel and a hoe, a mule and plow and a swingle tree. Talk about hard times. I bet you they had em, Adam. And all of his children, both slave and free, they had em because of the fruit of the apple tree. And the children of Adam, and the children's kin, they all got smeared with the pitch of sin. They shot their eyes to the big hair adder, and flung sin round with a terrible splatter, and collied with Satan, and din what the matter, and troubles, well, I bet you they had em, Adam, the children of Adam, they forget to pray, they had em, and they keep on a haddin' em down to this day. But that wasn't the last of the apple tree. Cause she scatter her seeds both fur and free, and that's what the matter with you and me. I knows the feelings what fotch or the fall, de red apple and old Satan's call.
Lord bless your soul, I knows em all. I'm kinda lopsided and pigeon-toed, but watch me keep in the middle of the road, cause the troubles I got is a mighty big load. Talk about troubles. I got em and had em, and I know mighty well that I catch em from Adam, and the apple seeds what he scatters so free, Adam, Adam and Eve, and the apple tree. End of The Apple Tree Section 3 of The Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Chenevere. De Gator and De Rabbit Gizzard. Mr. Rabbit come gallopin' home from de frolic, but a look at de creek made him feel solemn colic, cause de creek in de night done turn to a river, and de water look so wet it make him shiver. He holler and holler and holler at the ferry, twas run by a man which his name was Jerry, but the creek so high the ferry warn't dar, and Jerry was treed by old Brer Bar. He holler twill he wake up old Brer Yalligator, which he dine on pine knots and sweet potatoes. Brer Gator stuck his nose from the muddy water and axed Brer Rabbit how was his daughter. Brer Rabbit, he say they ain't no tellin', cause when he left home her head was a swellin'. Some of Brer Fox chillin' come by and rocked her, and he had a rush off and get the doctor. And on top of dat, here de creek come a-risin', it beat anything he ever laid eyes on. Brer Rabbit, says de gator, you show sure is a rover, but dis one time I'll put you over. Brer Rabbit, he chewed twill his jaw was jimber. Brer Gator, he say, yo tail might a limber. It's made dat away, says the alligator. We're all jointed up according to nater. Brer Rabbit, he low, I spec that so, sir, and mo than that, I believe I'll go, sir. I'll get on your back if you come a little closer. I'm a dreadin' at the water mo and mo, sir. The alligator float up, he's light as a feather, with a word here and there about the weather and how cold the water was down in the slushes and a grin on his mouth that showed all his tushes. Brer Rabbit, he say to the grinning alligator, I'll be much obliged if you'll show me the waiter right on your back. Just jump on kind of straddling. You do the pantin' and I'll do the paddling. And right through the water they went a skimming. Brer Rabbit a pantin' and a alligator swimming. Brer Rabbit, he say, yo show sure got your hand in, and if I ain't mistoken, you a passin de landin. You got good eyes, says Brer Yalligator. I been waitin' long, and I ain't a good waiter. You ain't forgot that day in the stubble when you made me shake hands with red-hot trouble, when you got me in the dry grass and sighted a fire, and I squinched myself by rollin' in the mire. Brer Rabbit, he sot dar a-shakin' and a-shiverin', and more than that, he was quakin' and quiverin'. I been so sick I was nigh to dyin', and the doctor come and found me cryin'. He looked me over from A to Izzard, and he say that I needs some rabbit gizzard. Now all this make Brer Rabbit feel funny, but he up and low, I'm the man for your money. De folks all say I'm a queer old creeter, cause I'm long been a huntin' for the gizzard eater. I got a biggin', but she done gun me trouble since the doctor found that she is double. I'm a-tellin' you something what I ain't had order, but she has to come out every time I cross water. The doctor say my skin won't hold me if my gizzard smell water. That what he told me. And last night I hit her in a hickory holler, and I'll take you dar if you does but foller. Brer Gator ain't hurt with too much sense. He can't write his name, and he can't climb a fence. And he steer for the bank where all the trees is, where the owl shake her wings and wake up the breezes. He swum and he steer twill he got to the dry land. Brer Rabbit fetched a jump and he lit on the high land. With goodbye, Brer Gator, you want to change your habits. If you bleach to eat gizzards, does hunt your unk rabbits. End of The Gator and the Rabbit Gizzard Section 4 of The Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris. 
This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Chenevere. A Wishing Song At a usin' de spring for a lookin' glass, a wish, wish, wishin', Mr. Rabbit took a walk on de pasture grass, a wish, wish, wishin'. De gals come along, will you let us pass? Des a wishin'. He bowed, he did, and he shot one eye, a wish, wish, wishin', and he tip his beaver when they pass by, des a wishin'. Oh, ladies, all oh, ain't you scared of haints? A wish, wish, wishin'. Scared or no, we're gwine to the dance. Des a wishin'. Miss Meadows done say that we can go. A wish, wish, wishin'. And show em how to skip on the heel and toe. Des a wishin'. And it's oh, Mr. Rabbit, won't you go long? A wish, wish, wishin'. And that's the reason I'm a singin' this song. Des a wishin'. And, oh, Mr. Rabbit, does you know the place? A wish, wish, wishin'. Mr. Rabbit chaw his cud and wrinkle his face days a wishin'. It's right over yonder at the head of the dreen. A wish, wish, wishin'. Where the branch runs ghoul and the leaves is green days a wishin'. Mr. Fox'll scrape the fiddle. Miss Cows'll blow the horn. A wish, wish, wishin'. And the tune gwine to tell how the sheep shall con days a wishin'. Mr. Rabbit he stood dar slickered and sin a wish wish wishin', a lookin at de gals and a rubbin his chin days a wishin'. And ladies all, can you read me dis riddle a wish wish wishin'? What gwine to happen to my noodle niddle a wish wish wishin'? When days so much fox and so little fiddle. Day so wishin'. So, ladies all, if you'll scoose in me, I wish, wish, wishin', I'll saunter round to the tremblin' tree, days a wishin'. I'll slip through the bushes, and up I'll creep, I wish, wish, wishin', and listen to the mockingbird talkin' in his sleep, days a wishin'. End of A Wishing Song Section 5 of The Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Chenevere. How Brer Terrapin Learned to Fly. Brer Terrapin tired of promenadin' round, and he lay in the sun right flat on the ground. His foots was cold and his eyes was red, and it looked like something done bunged up his head. But he watched Brer Buzzard a-sailin' in the sky, and he wished from his heart that he could fly. Fill him a luna leaner, fill him a leaner -lina lie. He frowned, and he grunt, and he grunt, and he groaned, he sniffled and snuffled, he wheezed and he moaned. He dropped a big tear in the acorn cup, and the bug that run out, he gobbled him up. Brer Buzzard flew, and he flewed mighty high. He flap his wings and he wink his eye, fill him a luna lina, fill him a lina lie. He see Brer Terrapin lying flat, and he chuckled to himself, ho ho, look at that. It's a mighty funny place for to make a bed, and he may be sick, and he may be dead. So he dropped down slow, and he dropped down sly, but Terrapin watching with his red eye. Fill him a luna lina, fill him a lina lie. Buzzard, he lit a little up the slope, and hit the gate called the Buzzard Lope, and then Brer Terrapin tuck in his head, and he lay just like he done gone to bed. Brer Buzzard, he holler, hey, ha ha, and Terrapin spawn, a yai, a yai, fill him a luna lina, fill him a lina lie. You keep yourself shot up in your shell, Brer Buzzard Law, but I hope you are well. Brer Terrapin say he feelin' he's smart. He's what a man can with a swelled-up heart, and a liver all blue and a blood-red eye. And he moaned and groaned, and he cried, Oh, my! Fill him my luna lina, fill him my lina lie. Better get the doctor, Brer Buzzard say. He'll kill your show nuff if there's any way. I done been saw him, Brer Terrapin Law, and he up and told me that my onliest how 
is to find somebody that'll tote me high and turn me loose so I learn how to fly. Fill my luna lina, fill my lina lie. Bruh Buzzard, he say, Why, bless you, child, you can count on me, and he smole a smile. When it comes to heft you a right smart chunk, but I spec I can tote you, and then he wonk. I'll tote you low and I'll tote you high. I'll tote you past and I'll tote you by. Fill him a luna lina, fill him a lina lie. He ruffle his feathers and he flop his wings with this is the trouble that friendship brings. But I'll take it all and ask for mo. If so be, I can get you to go. Brer Tarrapin study, and he look at the sky, cause his heart was sot on learning to fly. Fill him a luna lina, fill him a lina lie. Down on his hunkers, Brer Buzzard squat, and up on his back, Brer Tarrapin got. T'was slip and fall, but he got on, and the next news you know, they both was gone. A sailing low and a sailing high. A sailin' fur and a sailin' nigh. Fill em a luna lina, fill em a lina lie. Now how shall I learn, Brer Terrapin say? Brer Buzzard spawn, I'll show you the way. I'm a flyin' high, but I'll start down. Then you turn loose and sail all round. Brer Terrapin say, and he shot his eye. If we go much higher, we'll stirb the sky. Fill em a luna lina, fill em a lina lie. Terrapin turned loose, and down he come, with a blip and a blap and a blim blam blum. He come with a squeal, he come with a squall. They ain't nobody ever had such a fall. And a mighty good reason he was up so high that when he hit the ground he was dead mighty nigh. Fill him a luna lina, fill him a lina lie. Buzzard, he follow for to see it done well with Low friend, it seems like you fell, and all you had her do was to flop your wings. Terrapin groan, he says, by jings, I know one thing, and that ain't two. I know one thing with my Philomaloo. I know one thing, and I know it right. I know how to fly, but I dunna how to light. Some or other told me as I sail in the sky. Learn how to light, for you learn how to fly. Fill em a luna lina, fill em a lina lie. End of How Brer Terrapin Learned to Fly Section 6 of The Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Chenevere. It's good to be old if you know how to do. Some fifty year ago, if I'd have been told that some fine day I'd be glad to be old, I'd a sassed em all and laughed in de face and dared em to run me a mile foot race. I'd a up and a cut the pigeon wing, cause I allus felt like a cold in the spring. I'd a whirled in the air and lit on my feet. For when it come to dat, I couldn't be beat. I'd a grinned right at em, but now I know lots better than I knowed some fifty year ago. Cause now I can set right flat in my chair and call back the days from year to year. And with no need to call, cause time I sets down, they all comes a flittin' and a flyin' round. And all with the Sunday doings on, and all the troubles done clean gone. And I sets up with em, and I draps to sleep, glad for to get my fun so cheap. It's the same as a frolic, for now I know lots better than I knowed some fifty year ago. No shade for me, I can set in the sun, and I hear them chillin, and see em run, and over the hills when the day is long, I can hear the plow hands home in song. And in the creek bottom go bing go bang, I can hear the racket of the new ground gang. And it seemed mighty queer that it come to pass, cause chillin' and niggers is under the grass. They are dire, they are here, and one thing show I never would have believed it fifty year ago. 
Little chillin die, and you think they are gone, and you weep and wail with the mournin' on. Family and friends, they are tookin' too, and it seems like the reaper won't never get true. Both big and little, both young and old, they all got the answer to the call of the roll. They answer and go, does you spec that's all? Is the oak tree sorry when the acorns fall? <laughs> Bless you, honey, I know what I know. Lots better than I did some fifty year ago. They all comes back, and they comes to stay, and you has em with you both night and day. And I done not wear your eyes if you can't see. Them children are standin' right at my knee. With shining eyes and har fallin' free, one little gal and little boys three. And most every day when the light gets pale, I catch myself a tellin' em a tale. And I goes on and tells it, for now I know lots better than I knowed some fifty year ago. Unc Remus, Unc Remus, they hollers at me. Please tell about the rabbit what clomb the tree. And then they laughs and claps their hands with, This is the way that Brer Rabbit stands. And then they mingles with the chillin' that's new. And I get so dazed I don't know what to do. And when they plays at hide and switch, I scratches my head to tell t'other from which. And I never could tell if I didn't know lots more than I knowed some fifty year ago. Some fifty year ago, if I'd have been told that some fine day I'd be glad to be old, and there'd have been a quarrel, yet I'm surely glad, for I can't make a move, but it's, please wait, Dad. Run, get Daddy's hat. Run, get Daddy's cane. Come, brush Daddy's coat. Ain't you afraid it'll rain? I waits for it all, and then I has to wait twill some of em runs and opens the gate. And it makes me laugh, for now I know lots more than I knowed some fifty year ago. And it's just that away, day in and day out. Every time I turn round, every time I walk about. No matter when I come, no matter when I go, it's just like dancing to Jim Along Joe. It's just like skipping to Jim Along Jeems. All day when I'm awake, all night when I dreams, they are playing close by no matter where I stand. And when I doze off, they are holding my hand. They are always with me, cause now I know lots better than I knowed some fifty year ago. End of It's Good to Be Old If You Know How to Do Section 7 of The Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Chenevere. The Hard Headed Woman. Now then, honey, I tell you what, you be like the woman and the big dinner pot. If you don't mind your mammy, you don't see how come it. Well, I tell you right now, you ain't fur from it. You can blindfold my eyes, and I'll call your name. It's hello, Mr. Hardhead, ain't you shame. You can grin and twist and squirm and frown, but I know your name by the way it sound. Don't pull that shoe knife, just put it down. Don't pester my pegs, and drop that all. You'll stick yourself with it, and then you'll squall. Don't fool with my feelings, don't scatter the tacks. You'll drap em on the floor and lose em in the cracks. Don't tangle my twine, and don't chaw up my wax. What can you do? Why, well, I set still a minute, and the way for to do it is to commence and begin it. I tell you, honey, you done got so wild that nobody'll believe you're Miss Sally's child. You want to hear a tale? Well, you show sure do scare me, cause how can you sit right still and hear me? The old sow done got up from war you knocked her. And the heifer is looking for to see who rocked her. You're sure the ailin', and you'll have to see the doctor. I don't know what gwine to happen if they ain't something done. If you ain't rockin' creeters, they ain't no fun. Boys, please to have fun. You say that yourself, or else they might as well be put on the shelf. It might have been Gregory, uh, Yellabama. For the goodness sake, put down that hammer. In one or the other there lived a ooman. She was nine parts engine and one part human. She lived in a wood lot close to water, and she done a heap of things that she ain't had order. 
De neighbors say that she done killed her daughter. She had a bad temper, and her clacking tongue was long and loud and mighty well hung. Her old man done the best that he could. He split up kindling and he chopped up wood. He fotch home meal and he fotch home meat. Yet she never would cook what he want to eat. She was hard-headed, honey, just like you. And what folks wanted was the thing she won't do. But she'd scold and quarrel the whole day true, and she'd be contrary and act like a mule, will the neighbors all say she's a Friday-born fool. If her husband wants grits, she cook him greens. If he wants roast tater, she'd boil him beans. If he want fried meat, she'd make corn bread. And the pone was so hard twould a broke his head. If she had a hit him, he'd a done gone dead. She'd kindle a fire with sparrow grass, and give her old man the wuss kind of sass. She'd burn the spare rib and scorch the tripe. When it comes to meanness, she was good and ripe. Her old man watch and wait and pray for the time for to come when she change her way. He spit in the ashes and make a cross mark, and something or other told him to wait till dark. When the moon looks pale and the loony dogs bark, and put in the pot when the big owls hoot, some thunderwood buds and calamus root. Well, that night the woman comes in kind of late, and she slam things round like you does de gate. At her kicking up a rippet and getting things hot, she built a big fire on the dinner pot. She put in some dumperlings, likewise some peas and flung in a sheep's head on top of these. The water gun to bubble, and the vittles it fout, twill the sheep head butted the dumplings out, and the peas went flying all round and about. The woman she stripped off a homespun sack with, no matter what happens, dad pot I'll crack. She got the axe, but the pot see her coming, and it jump off the fire and dust went a humming. Mine entered the woods, that pot did sneak, beyond the branch and way beyond the creek. It run and run till the omen get weak, and when she got cotch with a bamboo briar, here come the pot with a chunk of red fire. And then she yelled, and then she squall, and the pot was there for the catcher when she fall. And she never come back, and the pot just laughed, a hopping and a skipping up the spring path. It come it did, and straddled the place where it been settin at, and washed its face, and scraped off the mud and wiped off the grease, and the man eat his supper for one time in peace. End of the hard headed woman. Section eight of the Tar Baby and other rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Chenevere. Two Tales in One, One Tale in Two. Folks I think they're smart, and I expect it's so, cause most anybody please to know what they know. But when you dig down to the truth and all, you feel like creeping through a hole in the wall. And you don't want the hole for to be too wide, cause you want a place where you can hide. For dat what you know mighty certain and show ain't more than a thimble for to what you ain't know. When you run your head in a hornet's nest, you can say what you please and think the rest. But the very first thing that you want to do is to jump up from dar and shuffle your shoe. Man, I wish you'd hush. You want to get away. There ain't money enough for to make you stay. Well, what you dunno know is got claws and wings. It zooms in your yeah, it zooms and stings. What? Tell you a tale that I don't know. Is you ever heard the one about Tippy Toe? You ain't? Well, that's mighty funny to me. And I speck I better tell about Fleeter My Knee. One tail in two and two tails in one. By the time they're finished, they're mighty nigh done. You listen and laugh, you listen and cry, but your face will be straight and your eye will be dry. They was born in a well, and they want no doubt that they couldn't fall in, so they had to fall out. And the folks all say that it sure was a sin, 
fer to be fallin out when they order fall in and they wondered and wondered how dat can be and they hunted and hunted fer fleeter my knee but he weren't to be found ne'er to be toe and dat's how come they ain't nobody know and down to this day when folks settin still and lookin way off cross the creek and the hill and frownin up when they shuts their eyes a puttin on specks for to make em look wise they're wonderin specially if they rubs the chin how it feels to fall out when you order fall in they're watchin and waitin and tryin to see little tippy toe and fleet o my knee sometimes in de night you'll hear a mouse squeal cause tippy toe done trod on his heel and sometimes you'll wake and hear de wall crack but it's fleet o my knee a drivin a tack they gets in de kitchen and makes de pans leak and they creeps in de closet and makes de shoes squeak and they stop de clock but their prettiest trick is to swing on de pendulum and make it tick in the middle of the night when you hear the dog howl and the bullfrog grumble like he's talkin to the owl and the kill the holler like he's skeered to death and the wind do like she's holdin her breath and the moon slips along twill she finds a cloud fer to hide behind and the geeses all crowd close up together it's because they see little tippy toe and fleet o my knee and the katydids wid their chatterin song you'd think twould take em all night long fer to tell what they ain't do and what they done a jawin and a sputin one by one but turnin twelve they simmers down and you can't hear one for miles around they are more than willin fer to give the flow to fleet o my knee and tippy toe and children like you better keep their eyes skun so they'll know what's mischief from dat what's fun cause fleet o my knee and tippy toe they are watchin you close wheresoever you go wheresoever you go wheresoever you do they'll wit you all day and de whole night true they'll raise up the kiver when you're in bed and pull at your toes and tossle your head and you whimper and groan and jump in your sleep and be slidin down places dat slick and steep and raw head and bloody bones will be drivin his teams both backwards and forwards through all of your dreams how you gwine to keep em off why honey whirl in and try to be good just as good as you can End of Two Tales in One, One Tale in Two. Section 9 of The Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Chenevere. Why the Frog Has No Tail. Now, honey, you listen and keep right still, and I'll tell you about the frog what lived nigh the mill. He stayed in de pond when he wa'n't on de bank, and hot days he stayed where the grass was rank. He liked cold water, and he liked de sun. He was marked like a clown and full of fun. When he stood up, he sot, and he hopped when he run. Day in and day out, he was much the same. Brer Bullfrog, they named him, and he answered to the name. Pop-eyed he was, with no har on his head and there wasn't no tellin when he went to bed cause he'd watch all day and bella all night and the creatures all say dat dat wasn't right and mo than dat they say twas a shame dat any kinder creeter shall ruin his name bruh bullfrog say come along oh come i ain't got nothin but a jug o' rum jug o' rum jug o' rum i'll give you some the creeters they say it's wuss and wuss and the fust news you know he'll up and cuss er he'll get so mad that he'll swell up and bust brer rabbit he hear about the jug o rum and he smack his mouth with a yum 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 and he study and study how he'll get him a dram and by and by he went on the old mill dam the water looked so cool it make him shiver bullfrog say tain't cool is de river de water lap lap brer rabbit's skin creep brer bullfrog beller knee deep knee deep 
Brer Rabbit jump in, curse splish, curse splash, and it was like to have been the last of his hash. He fotched a snort and he fotched a sneeze. It made him cough and it made him wheeze. He allers strangle when it's deeper than his knees. Brer Rabbit put out and put out faster, and the frog, he laughed like a bull in the pasture. After that, Brer Rabbit, he watch and wait. He riz mighty soon, and he went to bed late. He watch by the poplar and by the mill gate. There was times when he laugh and times when he grin. He was fixin' fer to take that bullfrog in. Well, time flickered on, and Brer Bullfrog gun to think about gwine fum de pond to de bog. He wash his neck and he wipe his feet, so de gals would think he was mighty sweet. And when he come out, mon, he was dressed, a long green coat and a white silk vest, breeches for to match and shoes with buckles, and a green umbrella for to keep off the speckles, and a little cocked hat full of green and white speckles. Twas a right smart piece from the pond to the river, so he done up his tail in the umbrella kiver. Ay, ay, that's something that don't seem to strike you. Well, laugh on, honey, and make folks like you. Brer Rabbit see him coming, and just for fun, make like he's scared and broke and run. Brer Bullfrog bellered, Where's my gun? and hopped on at her as hard as he can, and Brer Rabbit try hard for to hide a grin. He led Brer Fox to a hollow tree, and in he went with, You can't get me, and out he popped on the other side whilst the frog hop in with his umbrella wide. The frog holler out, I dare you to come, and he talked this like he was in a bass drum. Now old smarty rabbit had done brung his axe, and he hit the holler some mighty hard wax. I ain't tellin' nothin' but the natural facts. De frog get skeered at so much maulin', cause he think that by and by the trees be a fallin'. Brer Rabbit was dar, and when the frog move, he chop his tail off, smick smack smooth. The frog fotch a beller and make for the river. He left his tail and the umbrella kiver. He left them dar right on the ground, and the tail it wiggled till the sun went down. End of Why the Frog Has No Tail Section 10 of The Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Chenever. Uncle Remus Captures a Dream. Out dar in the dark, when folks is asleep, dey's things gwine on that'll make you creep. Dey's a crowd of something out dar at play, from the middle of the night sprang on twill day and the mortal stillness that falls on all is the noise they make when they cry and call it's over and under and round again they flits with the shatters and flies with the wind and dreams long dreamt slip out of the swamp and make the plans for a mighty romp and doors fly open without a squeak when they start to play at hide and seek and they ride the ponies wing and breeze out over the fields and through the trees. It's over and under and round again. They flits with the shadows and flies with the wind. The frocks is made of the new moonshine, carded and rolled and spun mighty fine. They spins em to self and trims em all with the trailing fog that you see in the fall. And the time for to catch the dreams and things is when they are swinging in spiderweb swings. It's over and under and round again. They flits with the shadows and flies with the wind. And if you're old and not too fat, I spec you can catch em unneat your hat. The fust on our cotch, I was past my prime. But I've catched em since, mo and many's the time. And when you catch em, they're yourn for good. Cause they can't get away and they wouldn't if they could. It's over and under and round again. They flits with the shadows and flies with the wind. You'll have to be old and naturally tough, cause the sights they'll show you be more than enough. And you better be asleep if you catch a dream, 
because if you ain't it'll make things seem like they did to the man what fell from the tree he struck a limb and he say he he i believe my soul kerblimity blum that the whole wide world done got out of plum the last stream i caught i held it to my ear and i wish i could tell you all what i hear it was oh hold me tight oh hold me fast i'm the breath what you see on the looking glass i'm the silver bugle i'm the wedding bell i'm dim what stumbled and dim what fell i'm the old home spring i'm the orchard path i'm the big black log i'm the kitchen half i'm the chap you toted when you were strong i'm the song you sung him all night long i'm the old red road and the tryin hill i'm the creek and the pond and the old grist mill i'm the spinnin wheel and the bangin loom the long wide hall and the upstairs room i'm the mistress and master and the buckra man i'm kittle and trivet i'm skillet and pan i'm dim what go and dim what come i'm dim what march to the beat of the drum i'm dim what dance by the light of the moon i'm the dance itself and i'm the tune i'm dim what sung the midnight song i'm the way they went when they went along I'm the fluttering hands, like they ringin' a bell. I'm the so long, honeys, and the fair you well. I'm dem what fiddle till the break of day. I'm the torch they dropped when they went away. I'm dem what rambled and dem what run, dem what frolicked and had the fun. I'm dem what plowed and hoed the corn. I'm the plow and the hoe and the dinner horn. I'm dem what looked with the seeing eye. I'm the bended head and the long good-bye any warm night if you set right still you can hear me callin from over the hill and over the meadows and down the dreen you can hear me whisper of what i seen and the willis whiskers they'll jine in and tell where i'm gwine and where i been and it's over and under and round again i flits with the shadows and flies with the wind end of uncle remus captures a dream Section eleven of the Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Schneider. Why the Buzzard's Head is Bald. T U Turkey, T U Tie, T U Turkey Buzzard's Eye. You can see her sailing way up in the sky. If she was to shut her wings and fall, you'd see for yourself that her head is bald. P o Peter, P o Pan, her head dis as bald as the palm of your hand, and a mighty good reason, but that's a tale, as the possum said to the slippery rail. Brer Rabbit in dem days was monstrous gay, and he had both a home and a place for to stay if he ever get cotched out night or day. He find him a poplar with two big rooms that Miss Breezy keep clean with a brand new brooms and he grabbed a place where he can hide and sleep with both eyes open wide he lick his chops and he wash his face with of all the places dish here's the place now he been a gwine there for some little time and twas all so quiet that he liked it prime and he feel like singin a old time heim but one day while he's pirootin round a huntin for dat what never is found Oh, Miss Buzzard comes a struttin by and view the holler from the corner o her eye. She been a huntin a place for her nest, and of all the places she liked this the best. She grinned a grin and she clucked a cluck with laws a massy what luck what luck, and she laughed and laughed till her top knot shook. Then she went with a swish and a flop. With a spraddlin' walk and a hippity hop, she took to the east, she took to the west, and with eleven little splinters she built her nest. A handful of trash and a bunch of fuzz, she whirled round twice and dar she was. By and by, bro Rabbit come a lopin in, e smooth as silk and slicker than sin, a chawin his tobacco with a chuckle and a grin. Twas dark as flugins, and yet twasn't long, for Bur Rabbit knowed that something was wrong. 
"'Twas somebody been here, and I ain't glad, "'cause whoever twas, they breath mighty bad. "'Miss Buzzard, she kind of squirm on her nest, "'cause she got the ID, she's good as the best. "'Bruh Rabbit, he slap his foot on the floor, "'wit, I dunno who twas, but what I does know, "'is he better hunt the doctor, wheresomever he go. "'Oh, thank you, Bruh Rabbit,' says Miss Buzzard, says she. The way you make friends surely astonishes me. If you don't watch out, you lose your meat. Not whilst I can wiggle all of my feet, says old Brer Rabbit, and then he wheeze. I bet you a thrip I'm goin' to sneeze. He try to hold in, but he snows and he snows, and he work his yaw and he wiggle his nose. With this gets wusser the further it goes. Well. Time loped on, and when her eggs hatch, Miss Buzzard she show sure had to grub and scratch. As the saying is, but the grubbin' she done was the kind of grubbin' that wasn't much fun, and her chillin' was greedy to hear the cries, you'd a thunk they were starvin' right for your eyes. Miss Buzzard murched em up and talked mighty sweet, and promised em a dinner a right fresh meat. Brer Rabbit, he chuckled, he's good as wheat, but the giant and holler will just fit me, and I'll set in dar where I can see. And he sot so still you'd a thunk he was sleep. And he fooled Miss Buzzard when she come to peep, so she stop up to holler with mud and sticks, but old Brer Rabbit knowed all her tricks. She named his name, but he lay back in snow, and do like he ain't gwine to wake no mo. And then she say, You're my meat, show. Brer Rabbit, he low, Oh, please, em, let me out. You say you won't? Well, I think you mought. In remembrance of old times, well, as the new. If you won't, you won't, so it's good-bye to you. And then he went slippin' out of his back door, and he left Miss Buzzard a walkin' of the flow. When Brer Rabbit runs, he show sure is a flyer, and he put out to where Mr. Man had a fire for to burn off the new ground brush and briar, and he got him a pan and red hot embers, the sort what warms you in the cold Decembers, and then he run home as hard as he can, with, Oh, Miss Buzzard, please mm, let me in. She flew right at him with wing and claw, and he plunked the embers on her jaw, and on her neck, and on her head, and in her house, and on her bed. And they scorched her so that her eyes got red, and she flung a flutter, and she fetched a squall. Laws a messy, Brer Rabbit, you burnin' me ball. And from that day till this, both fur and wide, where the buzzers had top knots, it's mostly hide. End of Why the Buzzard's Head is Bald Section 12 of The Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Chenevere. The Old Standbys Water millions fresh from the vine, anybody will say they're fine. And rabbit in hash is nice, stood up with a handful of rice. And down in this neighborhood, they say Brer Possum is good. And then dar's the big pole beans, and old-time collard greens, with leaf blue stemmed and wide, you can have em boiled or fried. And turnips, purple and white, I wish I had some this night. Yet millins, possums, rabbits, they has their ways and habits, and the seasons one and all, summer and winter and fall, and likewise collard greens and turnips and pole beans. And some come twice a year, and some of these last don't care if they come or not, that's why folks watch for the clouds in the sky. But they all good enough in their place for to make a sinner say grace. But then there's the long come shorts, when you have to put up with all sorts, then gimme the cornbread pone, and please em make it full grown, and a dish full of whippoorwill peas, biled up with plenty of grease, and buttermilk fresh from the churn, 
er sour enough to burn and tingle on yo tongue and creep twill it taste like yo foot's asleep the old stands by is here there with us all the year you don't have to wait or hunt they're right at hand every month they're with you rain or drought if the wind blow north or south shucks i done gone to dribble at the mouth End of the old standbys Section thirteen of the Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Chenevere. Bro Rabbit's Giggling Place. Time was when the queeters had different places uh, for to eat day snacks and wash day faces. A place for the talk and a place for tussling. When somever they happened to get true day hustling. A place for smoking and a place for chawing, a place for jumping and a place for jawing, a place for kicking and a place for pawing, a place for moaning and a place for pining, a place for howling and a place for whining. They was getting long well and living curse scrumptious, and none but the camel was any ways bumptious. You mortar fed em on cornmeal mushes, cause they ain't find out they had claws or tushes. They never was sorry, ner solemn colic. When they laid by the crops, they was in for a frolic. Bruh Fox knowed how for to tetch up the fiddle, with tum ti tum tum and tum ti iddle tiddle, and gals cross over from the side to the middle. And dem what worked in de heavy timber, uh, done got so dat they legs ain't limber. They sot off in a clump together, and talk about craps and the rainy weather, and watch the dancers light as a fetter and shake their heads and do some frownin when the fiddle was just a singin and a soundin as much as to say up time will free us and you'll soon be as now you see us now a dance at the best is a kinder mix-up and old rab was scared that they had some tricks up and whilst bruh fox was a sawin on the fiddle bruh rabbit was a tellin bruh bar a riddle that made him laugh till he shake in the middle Bra bar he laugh, but old bra rabbit do like he done got out of the habit. You'd a thunk somebody had done hurt his feelings with the shiffle shuffle and the jigama reelings. Now where there's any gigglin the crowd's bound to go dar, and to keep from being squashed, bra rabbit says Wo dar, and he called to bra fox with please play some mo dar. Bra fox he say he please to mind his fiddle. And old Bruh Bar still shuck in the middle. Miss Wolf up and ax, What you find that's so funny? And the answer was, Mr. Beans swallowed bunny. Laws in me, says Miss Wolf, and she got dar grinning. Bruh Rabbit, you showed us need a skinning. Bruh Fox, he say, Just stop your chaffin'. You see for yourself, Bruh Rabbit ain't a laughin'. If trouble was to come, he look like he'd nab it. Right you is, Bruh Fox, says old Bruh Rabbit, and more than that, I'd reach out and grab it, cause I never did believe in company snigglin', and I done got a place where I does my gigglin'. And they all of em asked him, Whereabouts is it? Just show us the way, and we'll pay it a visit. Bruh Rabbit makes out he had money and lost em, and he hope Bruh Fox for to find his rosum. Hummin yam spells tater and tater spells possum and then twasn't long fo the dance it broke up bruh fox stayed behind and at a while spoke up and ax bruh rabbit where his gigglin place it ain't so mighty fur from the wigglin place and you surely is here tell her dat sir cause once dire you'll giggle till you lose your hat sir and you may lose your hide i seed such cases where dem what is queer got lost in queer places but this kind of talk was worse than no talk if he knowed he'd get scalloped by a knock-kneed mohawk bruh fox woulda went there was no need for mo talk so bruh rabbit say he'd be glad for to take him cause he too perlite for to up and shake him and bruh fox went with a gallop and a wiggle for to see the place where bruh rabbit giggle after so long they got dar and bruh rabbit showed it and bruh fox low that he never would a knowed it 
Old Rab smole a smile, and then he told him how to giggle and giggle twill a horse can't hold him. Twas tain't as you see it, but the way you do it. That big bush yonder, you must run right through it. If it had been a trap, Brer Fox would have flew it. But he run through the bush, and then he hollered. He yapped and he whapped, and then he wallered. And the reason was plain why he made such a racket. He had run right over Mr. Yaller Jacket, and the bush was the home of the bald-headed hornet. Brer Fox, he yelloped right straight on it. He run through gullies and he jumped over ditches, cause he had ten dozen in his breeches. Brer Rabbit heard something about dang dong dig em, and he loped off home cause he scared they'd sting him. End of Brer Rabbit's Giggling Place Section 14 of The Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Schinever. Mr. Rabbit run fur, Mr. Rabbit run fast. Cause they schools him a givin' the gals some sass. With the fingers in the ears they stomped their feet. With, just listen at that, is you ever hear the beat? Yet all in the world that Brer Rabbit say, was howdy my honeys witch him away witch him away you're getting too old for to be so gay i believe in my soul you're turning gray mr owl he seed a big star shoot and he blow his horn with a toot 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 mr fox come along with a hand to his ear and the gals they holler brer fox run here mr fox he grin and show his tush Please come and make Brer Rabbit hush. We wasn't doing nothing but dancing on the grass, and here he come with his mouth full of sass. Mr. Owl, he see the near star shoot, and he make his horn go toot, toot, toot. Mr. Fox scratch hisself behind the ear with a tut, 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 what's dis I hear? And the gals, they say, you hears the truth. And then Mr. Fox with a whiff, waff, woof, try to swallow Brer Rabbit. But he swallowed the air. He snapped, he did, but he never touched a hair. And a mighty good reason, Brer Rabbit wasn't there. One star, two star, three star shoot, and old Mr. Owl blow toot, toot, toot. Mr. Rabbit, from behind the mullein stalk, holler, ladies all, I'm gwine to take a walk. I was making fun, but I'm sorry I spoke, for all I say was nothing but a joke. La, Brer Rabbit, and why didn't you tell us? Cause we likes you better than the yutta fellas. Mr. Rabbit, he laugh and wiggle his smellers. And the horse apple falls long for it mellers. Two stars, three stars, four stars shoot. Mr. Owl, he laugh and toot, toot, toot. Mr. Rabbit, he say, you're in your prime. I told you that, but you ain't give me time. Miss Meadows, she say, don't lose your chance. Let's go to my house, and we'll all have a dance. Mr. Rabbit, he laughed and shake his head. What more can you say when all is said? I'm the one that's gray, Brer Fox is red. I can be my own friend when all is fled. I'm gwine for to get some calamus root, and listen to the whippoorwill a playin' on his flute. Mr. Whippoorwill, he won't stay still. Mr. Whippoorwill a playin' on his flute. End of Mr. Rabbit Run Fur, Mr. Rabbit Run Fast. Section 15 of The Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Chenever. Baylor's Mail. Run, little brothers, run. Yo journey's just begun, and many a long mile stretches from settin' to rise and sun. And it's whack if the patroller catches, and it's a whoop when yo journey's done. It's fun for the one that fetches, for the one that carries none. Oh, run in the bushes, brothers, down the long corn firs run. Run in the heat what smothers, in the frost what grips you mun. It's way o oh, for the hills what beckon, way o oh, for the low grounds wide. 
You're moving now, I reckon, when you rock from side to side. Run, little brothers, run, twixt settin' and risin' sun. Watch out for them what foller, with track dogs and with gun. Break through the swampy holler, your journey will soon be done. Past the place where the wild hogs waller, the race is mighty nigh won. And it's out where the hills is rollin', where the road and the runner is won. De time is come for Poland. Run, little brothers, run. Across the fur line stretches what hold the breath of the sun. It's meat for the man what fetches, for the man what carries none. Run, little brothers, run. Time passes mildly, man. No time for a cabin tattle when the way and the wisher is one. No time for to count the cattle. But to see if they brindle or done, does make the bushes rattle when you break from trot to run. No dodging the water what splashes, it's part of the frolic and fun. When you skip to the sloughs and slashes, run, little brothers, run. And the Milky Way is shifting to where it can see the sun, and the night is surely lifting. Run, little brothers, run. The east is showing yellow, and the stars go one by one. But the hills will take yo hello when the morning streamers is spun. And make it saft and mellow, run, little brothers, run. Time it gets to the other fellow, and then yo journey's done. End of Baylor's Mail Section 16 of The Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Chenevere. Revival Hymn Oh, war shall we go when that great day comes, With the blowing of the trumpets and the banging of the drums? How many post sinners will be cotched out late, And find no latch to the golden gate? No use for to wait twill tomorrow. The sun mustn't set on yo sorrow. Sins is sharp as a bamboo briar. Oh Lord, fetch the moaners up higher. When the noshes of the earth is a standin' all around, who's gwine to be chosen for the war the glory crown? Who's a gwine for to stand stiff need and bold and answer to the name at the callin' of the roll? You better come now if you comin'. Oh, Satan is loose and a bummin'. The wheels of distraction is a hummin'. Oh, come along, sinner, if you comin'. De song of salvation is a mighty sweet song, and the paradise wind blow fur and blow strong, and Abraham's bosom hits soft and hits wide, and right dar's the place where the sinner's order hide. Oh, you needn't be a stoppin' and a lookin'. If you fool with old Satan, you'll get tookin'. You hang on the age and get shookin'. If you keep on a stoppin' and a lookin'. The time is right now, and dish year's the place. Let the sun of salvation shine square in your face. Fight the battles of the Lord, fight soon and fight late, and you allus find a latch to the golden gate. No use for to wait twill tomorrow. The sun mustn't set on your sorrow. Sins as sharp as a bamboo briar, ask the Lord for to fetch you up higher. End of Revival Hymn Section 17 of The Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Chenevere. Camp Meeting Song Oh, the world's is round and the world's is wide. Lord, remember these chillin in the morning. It's a mighty long ways up the mountain side, and there ain't no place for them sinners for to hide, and there ain't no place where sin can abide when the Lord shall come in the morning. Look up and look around, fling your burden on the ground. It's a getting mighty close on to morning. Smooth away sin's frown, rich up and get the crown, what the Lord will fetch in the morning. De hand of redemption hits held out to you, Lord, remember them sinners in the morning. 
It's a mighty patient hand, but the days is but few, when Satan he'll come a-demandin' of his due, and the stiff-necked sinners will be smotin' all through. Oh, you better get ready for the morning. Look up and set your face towards the green hills of grace, for the sun rises up in the morning. Oh, you better change your base, hit your soul's last race, for the glory that's a comin' in the morning. The farmer gets ready when the land's all ploughed, for to sow them seeds in the morning. The spirit may be puny and the flesh may be proud, but you better cut loose from the scoffing crowd and join these Christians what's a crying out loud for the Lord for to come in the morning. Shout loud and shout long, let the echoes answer strong when the sun rises up in the morning. Oh, you allers will be wrong twill you choose to belong to the master what's a coming in the morning. End of Camp Meeting Song Section 18 of The Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Chenevere. Corn Shucking Song Oh, the first news you know, the day you be a breakin'. Hey, yo, hi, yo, up and down the bango. And the fire be a burnin' and the ash cake a bakin'. Hey, yo, hi, yo, up and down the bango. And the hen'll be a hollerin' and the boss'll be a wakin'. Hey, yo, hi, yo, up and down the bango. Better get up, nigger, and give yourself a shakin'. Hi, oh, Miss Cindy Ann. Oh, honey, when you see them ripe stars a fallin. Hey, oh, hi, oh, up and down the bango. Oh, honey, when you hear the rain crow a callin. Hey, oh, hi, oh, up and down the bango. Oh, honey, when you hear that red calf a ballin. Hey, oh, hi, oh, up and down the bango. Then the daytimes a comin, a creepin and a crawlin. Hi, oh, Miss Indian. For the loss of any yard is a huntin for the mornin. Hi, oh, get along, go away. And you catch up with us for we ever get this corn in. Oh, go away, Cindy Ann. Oh, honey, when you hear that tin horn a tootin. Hey, oh, hi, oh, up and down the bango. Oh, honey, when you hear the squinch owl a hootin. Hey, oh, hi, oh, up and down the bango. Oh, honey, when you hear them little pigs a rootin. Hey, oh, hi, oh, up and down the bango. Right then she's a comin', a skippin' and a scootin. Hi, oh, Miss Cindy Ann. Oh, honey, when you hear that wrong mule wicker, hey, oh, hi, oh, up and down the bango. When you see Miss the Moon turning pale and getting sicker, hey, oh, hi, oh, up and down the bango. Then it's time for to handle that cone a little quicker, hey, oh, hi, oh, up and down the bango. If you want to get a smell of old master's jug or liquor, Hi, oh, Miss Cindy Ann. For the loss of land, the yard is a huntin' for the morning. Hi, oh, get along, go away. It's your ketchup with us for we ever get this corn in. Oh, go away, Cindy Ann. Your niggas cross there, you better stop your dancing. Hey, oh, hi, oh, up and down the bango. No use for to come a flingin' of yo shants in. Hey, oh, hi, oh, up and down the bango. No use for to come a flingin' of yo cants in. Hey, oh, hi, oh, up and down the bango. Cause there ain't no time for your patin' or your prancin'. Hi, oh, Miss Cindy Ann. Mr. Rabbit seed the fox and he sass em and jaws em. Hey, oh, hi, oh, up and down the bango. Mr. Fox catch the rabbit and he scratch him and he claws him. Hey, oh, hi, oh, up and down the bango. And he tore off the hide and he chaws up and he gnaws him. Hey, oh, hi, oh, up and down the bango. 
Same like gal chaw and sweet gum and rosum. Hi, oh, Miss Indian. For the lawson in the yard is a huntin' for the mornin'. Hi, oh, get along, go away. As you catch up with us, for we ever get this corn in. Oh, go away, Cindy Ann. A work on boys gives the chucks a mighty ringin'. Hey, oh, hi, oh, up and down the bango. For the boss come around, a danglin' and a dingin'. Hey, oh, hi, oh, up and down the bango. Get up and move around, set them big hands to swingin'. Hey, oh, hi, oh, up and down the bango. Get up and shout loud, let the white folks hear you singin'. Hi, oh, Miss Cindy Ann. For the loss in the yard is a huntin' for the mornin'. Hi, oh, get along, go away. And she'll catch up with us for we ever get this corn in. Or oh, go away, Cindy Ann. End of Corn Shucking Song Section 19 of The Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris this LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Chenever. The Plowhand's Song, Jasper County, 1860. Nigger mighty happy when he layin' by a corn, dat son's a slantin. Nigger mighty happy when he hear the dinner horn, dat son's a slantin. And he mo' happy still when de night draws on, dat son's a slantin. Dat son's a slantin. There's as show as you born, and it's rise up, Primus, fetch another yell. Dat old dun cows does a shakin' up her bell, and the frogs tunin' up fo the Jew dun fell. Good night, Mr. Kildee, I wish you mighty well. Mr. Kildee, I wish you mighty well. I wish you mighty well. The corn'll be ready against dumplin' day. Dat sun's a slantin', but nigger gotta watch and stick and stay. Dat son's a slantin', same as the B. Martin watchin' under J. Dat son's a slantin', dat son's a slantin' and a slippin' away. Then it's rise up, Primus, and gin it to em strong. De cows gwine home with the ding dang dong, slingin' another tetch of de old time song. Good night, Mister Whippoorwill. Don't stay long, Mister Whippoorwill. Don't stay long, don't stay long. De shadows day a creepin towards the top of the hill, dat sun's a slantin. De long time hill where the workers got to fill, dat sun's a slantin. Day some dat forgets, but we never shill, dat sun's a slantin. Dat sun's a slantin and slippin down still. Then sing it out, Primus. There's holler and ball, and whiles we are strippin de mules for de stall. Let the gals catch the sound of the plantation call. Oh, far you well, ladies, my love unto you all. Ladies, my love unto you all. My love unto you all. End of The Plowhand's Song Section 20 of The Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Chenever. Christmas Play Song, Myrick Place, Putnam County, 1858. Hi, my rinktum, black gal sweet, same like goodies what the white folks eat. Oh, my Riley, don't you take and tell her name, and then if something happen, you won't catch the blame. Hi, my rinktum, better take and hide your plum. Joey don't holler every time he find a wum. Then it's hi, my rinktum. Don't get no other man, and it's ho oh, my Riley, fetch out Miss Dilsey Ann. Ho oh, my Riley, yaller gal, fine. She may be yon, but she ought to be mine. Hi, my rinktum, let me get by, and see what she mean by the cut of that eye. Ho oh, my Riley, better shut that dough. De white folks will believe we are tearing up the float. Then it's ho oh, my Riley, come a shifting up to me, and it's hi my rinktum, dis the way to twist your knee. Hi, my rinktum, ain't the east gettin' red? The squinch owl shiver like he want her go to bed? Ho oh, my Riley, but de gals and de boys, they's now gettin' so they can sorta of make a noise. Hi, my rinktum, 
Let the yaller gal alone. Niggas don't hanker at the saudi in the poem. Then it's high my ringtum, better try another plan, and it's ho my Riley, trot out Miss Dilsey Ann. Ho my Riley, in the happy Christmas time, the niggers shake their clothes a huntin for a dime. Hi my ringtum, and then they shake their feet, and grease themselves with the good ham meat. Ho my Riley, they eat and they cram, and by and by old miss'll be a sendin out the dram. Then it's ho, my Riley, you hear that, Sam? And it's hi, my ringtum, be a sending out the dram. End of Christmas Play Song Section 21 of The Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Chenever Plantation Play Song Putnam County, 1856. It's a getting mighty late when the guinea hen squall, and you better dance now if you gwine to dance at all. For by this time tomorrow night you can't hardly crawl, cause you had to take the hoe again and likewise them all. Don't you hear that big holt a kicking in his stall? Stop yo humping up yo shoulders, that'll never do. Hop light, ladies, oh, Miss Lou. It takes a heap of scroogin for to get you through. Hop light, ladies, oh, Miss Lou. And if you niggers don't watch, you'll sing another tune, for the sun'll rise and catch you if you don't be mighty soon. And the stars is getting paler, and the old gray coon is a-settin' in the grapevine a-watchin' for the moon. When a feller comes a-knockin', they's holler, oh, shoo. Hop light, ladies, oh, Miss Lou. Oh, swing that yaller gal, do boys do. Hop light, ladies, oh, Miss Lou. Oh, turn me loose, let me alone, go away now. What you spect I come a-dancin' fur, if I don't know how? These the very kinds of footsies what kicks up a row. Can't you jump into the middle and make your gal a bow? Look at that mulatta man a-followin' up Sue. Hop light, ladies, oh, Miss Lou. The boys ain't a-gwine when you cry boo-hoo. Hop light, ladies, oh, Miss Lou. End of Plantation Play Song Section 22 of The Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Phil Chenever a plantation chant it's eighteen hundred forty and fo christ done opened that heavenly door and i don't want to stay here no longer it's eighteen hundred forty and five christ done made that dead man alive and i don't want to stay here no longer you ax me to run home little chillin run home dat sun done roll and i don't want to stay here no longer it's eighteen hundred forty and six christ is got us a place done fix and i don't want to stay here no longer it's eighteen hundred forty and seven christ done sot a table in heaven and i don't want to stay here no longer he asked me to run home little chillin run home dat sun don roho and i don't want to stay here no longer it's eighteen hundred forty and eight christ done made that crooked way straight and i don't want to stay here no longer it's eighteen hundred forty and nine christ done turned that water into wine and i don't want to stay here no longer you ask me to run home little chillin run home dad sun done roll and i don't want to stay here no longer it's eighteen hundred forty and ten. Christ is the mona's onlyest friend, and I don't want to stay here no longer. It's eighteen hundred forty and eleven. 
Christ will be at the door when we all get to heaven, and I don't want to stay here no longer. You ask me to run home, little chillin', run home, dat sun don roho, and I don't want to stay here no longer. End of a plantation chant. Section twenty three of The Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Chenevere. A Plantation Serenade. De old bee makes de honeycomb, de young bee makes de honey. De niggers make de cotton and corn, and de white folks gets de money. De raccoon, he's a curse man. He never walked twill dark, and nothing never disturbs his mind twill he hear old Bringer bark. De raccoon totes a bushy tail, de possum totes no har. Mr. Rabbit, he comes skipping by, he ain't got none to spar. Monday morning, breaker day, white folks got me gwine, but sadly night, when the sun goes down, dat yaller gals is mine. Fifteen pounds of meat a week, whiskey for to sell. Oh, how can a young man stay at home? Dem gals, they look so well. Met a possum in de road. Brer possum, where you gwine? I thank my stars, I bless my life. I'm a hunting for the muscadine. End of A Plantation Serenade Section 24 of The Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Chenevere. De Big Bethel Church. De Big Bethel Church, de Big Bethel Church, done put old Satan behind em. If a sinner get loose from any other church, de Big Bethel Church will find em. It's good to be dar, and it's sweet to be dar, with the sister and all around you, a shaking them shackles of mustn't and love, where with the Lord is bound you. It's sweet to be dar, and listen to the hymns, and hear them moaners a shoutin'. They done reach the place where there ain't no room for any more weepin' and doubtin'. It's good to be dar, when the sinners all jine, with the brotherin' in there singin', and it looked like Gabriel gwine to rack up and blow and set them heavenly bells to ringin oh the big bethel church the big bethel church done put old satan behind em if a sinner get loose from any other church de big bethel church will find em end of de big bethel church section twenty five of the tar baby and other rhymes of uncle remus by joel chandler harris this LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Chenever. Time goes by turns. There's a powerful wrestle twixt the good and the bad, and the bad's got all the underholt. And when the wuss comes, she come on clad, and you had a hold your breath for the jolt. But toads, alas, good gets the knee lock, and they draps to the ground kerflop. Good has the in turn, and he stand like a rock and he bleasin' for to be on top. De dry weather breaks with a thunderclap, for there ain't no drought what can last. But de seasons what whoops up de cotton crap, likewise they freshens up de grass. De rain falls so soft in the long dark night, twill you had a hold your hand for a sign. But de drizzle what's set de tater slips right, is the making of de maypop vine. In the mellorous ground, de clay rudel catch, and hold to the tongue of the plow, and a pine pole gate at the garden patch, never'll keep out the old brindle cow. One and all on us knows who's a pullin' at the bits, like the lead mule that guides by the rain. And yet, somehow or other, the bestest of us gets mighty sick at the tuggin' at the chain. Hump yourself to the load and forget the distress. And dem what stands by to scoff, for the harder the pullin, the longer the rest, and the bigger the feed and the trough. End of Time Goes By Turns
Section twenty six of the Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Harris. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Phil Chenever. A Howdy Song Prelude. If I could coax that baby for to get upon my knee, I'd up and sing my howdy song. I'd sing it loud and free. I'm getting old and poly, but I ain't forget the song. Cause I used to shake the rafters when the nights was getting long. He'd do a sight of laughing, and then he'd kinder smile. But foe you counted twenty, he'd be sleeping by the mile. I know I used to sing it to one little boy I knowed, and I seemed to see him coming when I look way down the road. I'd take him and I'd rock him till his eyelids settled down, and he'd soon be gwine off yonder on the stage to Sleepy Town, and the dreams would be a blowin' through his little curly head, and he'd try to pull at the kiver just like he goin' to bed. The Song It's howdy, honey, when you laugh, and howdy when you cry, and all day long it's howdy, I never shall say good-bye. I'm monstrous pert myself, sir, and hopin' the same for you. And when I catch my breath, sir, I'll ax you how to do. It's howdy, honey, when you sleep. It's howdy when you cry. Keep up, keep up the howdying. Don't never say good-bye. I'm middlin' well myself, sir, which to say my hope for you. If you let me catch my breath, sir, I'll ax you how to do. So long. I'm one of the wildest dreamers that ever looked up at the blue. I dreams twill I has the tremors, and if some of these dreams come true, you can pin on your Uncle Remus, it'll be mighty nice for you. I'm one of the worst old schemers that yever is patches shoe, and if semen is so to the seamers, I'll hunt you how de do. End of A Howdy Song End of the Tar Baby and Other Rhymes of Uncle Remus by Joel Chandler Harris